way. You know, when I vlog with my hand, I wish I had longer hands because a lot of the time I can't really fit much in the pack because my hands are so short. Anyway, hey friends, it's the beginning of another vlog. And as you can tell, I'm already ready. Okay, you saw me doing my makeup. I'm ready. I gotta step out and really, really excited for where I'm going. I'll tell you all about that in the bedroom because I need to go change and I need to go put something on my lips. But wow, are we in the middle of scandal after scandal after scandal after scandal? What is this? Um, it's a new vlog. This is officially the first vlog that I'm filming in 2024. So there's no previous 2023 content. This is 2024 content. Okay. So I want to go back into the bedroom and uh, put on my outfit for the day, which I don't even know what it's going to be. And in the meantime, we want to have a discussion, a little bit of a chat about what's going on in the world because Cat Williams because Cat Williams. What's wrong with me? Hey, Cat Williams. Eh? Cat Williams. So this is a few days after the whole Cat Williams incident. Actually, do I even still have time to be having these conversations? Yes, I do. This is a full, a couple of days, like two or three days after the Cat Williams scandal. And my goodness, did he not rip the comedian's to shreds and to be honest personally i don't think it's a bad thing that he did i actually think it's a good thing that he did um because a lot of the time people go off at cat williams okay they go off they go crazy they say some stuff that is out of pocket i think what shocked me is what um he said about uh steve harvey and what he said about kevin hart because i'm such a big kevin hart fan i really really love his stand-ups I'm um, not so crazy about his movies, but I really love his stand-ups. Um, but personally, for me, I got introduced into comedy by watching The Kings of Comedy, okay? And then after that, I watched Cat Williams. This is shortly, like, after university. And I love and have seen most, if not all, of Cat Williams' specials, shows, all of that kind of thing. So anyway, sharp, grand, in what in the world... Now, on top of that, ne, on top of that scandal, is then, uh, come on, Epstein. Ep freaking Steen. Are we going to say something about Mr. Jeffrey Epstein and the scandal, the list? We're not going to say much about Jeffrey Epstein. He's been gone for a number of years now. However, the list. The names that came out of that list. Look, if you watched the documentary on Netflix, then you would know. You would know about some of these names because they were mentioned like Prince Andrew, like President Bill Clinton, all of that. They were mentioned, right? But there are other names like Oprah Winfrey. And here's the thing. I think people get really mad. And Stephen Hawking. And here's the thing. I think people get really mad about... Um, oh my god, how was Oprah? Oprah was involved in all of this, blah blah blah. David Copperfield, are you joking? But, um, that's not the point. The point, I think, is yes, there are people that are going to be named in this list, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they partook or had a hand in what Jeffrey was doing on the sly, right? Jeffrey just liked to in invite over rich and powerful people to his island and mix and mingle with the, you know, high powers of New York society, American society, whatever you want to call it, right? But I don't think all the people that were mentioned in the list have directly contributed to the sex trafficking ring that um jeffrey epstein was doing however some of them were right like P P prince andrew we know about it and he had to do a settlement where he had to pay off uh what's her name virginia joffrey and like guys me let me tell you something about me i love love social topics Social economic topics. I love to follow what's happening around the world. I mean, I studied, and, and this means also like in the social space, but also in the political space. I mean, I studied international politics at school. So it's 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 like a thing. I'll always watch the news. I'll always, you know, just be abreast of what's going on, right? But recently, actually over December time, I've been going nuts over TikTok. 
absolutely nuts over TikTok. He's calling me. That's rude. Nah, hang on. I'll be back. Sunday morning now. Uh, I haven't, I haven't slept much for the last couple of days, and it's now twenty past nine. And all I want to do is really sleep because sleep is 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 a. Uh, it's a myth, really, in this house. Sleep is truly a myth. But we're going to start the vlog. I don't know what's to be expected in this vlog because there's... I don't really do much these days. <laughs> and now that we're back at work, I just go to work and I come home and I work some more and I sleep. So... Um, I'm not in the greatest place mentally. But I try to keep a smile on my face, you know what I'm saying? Always always gotta try and keep a smile on your face. Don't let them know. Don't let them know, you know, that you're actually truly, really going through it. Anyway, so um yeah. I'm probably gonna take about another hour or two just lazing around here. Maybe reading a book as well, and then I'll get ready for the day. Sounds like a good plan, don't you think? I think so. Alia. So if you ever wonder why I put on um, these, I, 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 I think I like how I look when I have like a, like a little bit of a head wrap on, whatever, anything. I just love how my face looks, but that's not the point. The point this time around is normally a lot of the time when I have these on, whether blue or white or black or all of this, it's a hair wash day and I actually have conditioner in there. So I'll pretty much like wash my hair and then I'll follow with this. 
right? When I'm done, when I'm out of the shower, I'll follow with this this Cantu uh, leave-in conditioning repair cream along with the Grow, Stro Grow Strong Strengthening Treatment. I love these and I'll lather it into my hair and then I'll put on like a, a little like sock and then I'll put on this on top just so that I just give it time to kind of do its thing. Go mad, go nuts. You know what I'm saying? But uh, for now, I'm probably going to go see my family a little bit later on. But for now, I'm going to go downstairs, maybe try and make myself a little snack or something to eat. Um, I'm very much in my thoughts currently. There's a lot that's going on that's just really... It's hard. It's hard for my mind and my heart. And, you know, when you're just in those moments where you're just trying to keep it together for the sake of keeping it together... Let's talk about this downstairs, okay? Okay. All right. All right. I'm getting a lot of headaches lately. And I wear my glasses, especially a lot when I feel like I'm getting headaches quite often, almost every day or every other day. Very mild headaches, but uh, they do the job at really annoying me. And I don't want to be drinking pills every day. So I wear these, and then by the end of the day, I feel better. And I don't have a headache and all of this. So... I'm trying to do better at wearing them more often, especially this year. Last year I was kind of bad at it, uh, but this year I'm going to do better. What's going on, Eskom? All right, let's go downstairs. <laughs> ever want to just get me something anything send me this because this is so expensive for 25 tea bags it's so expensive i don't even want to tell you the price i don't i actually don't even want to tell you the price so it's fine it's better so uh let me take the laundry down and while i fold it up we can have i'll perch you somewhere so we can have a chat but guys guningi diagoa and i have a very funny feeling that i might disappear for a while online but um i don't know i don't know i change my mind about it every day i'm still gonna do my life and work and do all those things but um we'll see we'll see let me let me get the laundry oh so all of them are falling now hey so i was doing my laundry uh today i have a thing i don't know if you guys are like me but i have a thing with dirty laundry it's not my thing it's not my thing so because i changed my sheets yesterday i immediately woke up in the morning and i put this in the uh washing machine because i'm really just not a fan of dirty laundry sitting in the laundry bin for days and sometimes even weeks on end because it's got a smell it's got a certain smell to it i don't know if you guys agree with me or not but it's got a certain smell and i don't like it so i typically try to do if there's one thing lily who is the lady who does my who keeps my house immaculate if there's one thing that she knows is that one thing she'll never find in my place is dirty laundry no even if she does she 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 could be washing the laundry i just do it for her like over a weekend, if there's uh, dirty laundry, I'll put it in the washing machine. And then all she needs to do is just come and iron. Because I will not iron. I can tell you that for free. Oh yeah, these ones actually need to go back onto the bed. I can tell you that that, that one for free. I will not iron. Ask me anything else but not to iron. Uh, but anyway, so... It's, it, it's definitely been by far the worst... Festive. I, I don't like festive season. I think I've said that in a number of my videos. But it's definitely been the worst one for me so far. Uh, I was home a lot of the time. I was in my bed a lot of the time. There was a lot of crying, a lot of lack of sleep. Um, just really just feeling sorry for myself, I guess. 
uh, there's a lot that I don't share on here and I don't do it because I do it because I am still a, a human being who, who goes through difficult emotions and hardships and all of that and I don't like to there's certain things that I won't share because you know when I'm out and about and I meet some of you guys it's nice like I want to keep it fun and whatever and if there's one thing about me I don't like people feeling sorry for me that oh, that irks me so much I don't like people feeling sorry for me and feeling pity for me and saying that oh whatever I could literally be going through the absolute most and no one would know which is essentially what happened this December I was literally going through the absolute most and no one knew. I didn't tell anyone. I just kept quiet. I kept it to myself. Uh, I didn't speak to anyone. I think maybe I may have spoken to my two good friends like once or twice about stuff. But for the most, for the most part, I kept quiet. I didn't say anything to anyone. I didn't go anywhere. I didn't. I did a lot of uh, just internal self work. You know, self reflection. Uh, I am along the lines of considering taking a break from YouTube. The craziest thing is, I don't know how long that break will be from YouTube. I don't know about the other. I really do enjoy the other platforms. Uh, what I have enjoyed quite a lot. I don't know if you guys are following me on, what is this? Um... TikTok, oh my gosh, I'm really, really enjoying TikTok. There's a sense of normalcy, man, on TikTok. You don't feel like, well, people are going to judge the heck out of you on TikTok, right? But there's a sense of, it's okay, like you can keep it normal, you can keep it casual. There isn't this thing that everything needs to be perfect, all the pictures need to be perfect, reels need to be curated, this needs to look pashash, all of this. So I've gravitated a lot more to TikTok, where I share a lot of my content before I even post it up on Instagram, if I post it up on Instagram, but I'll put it up on TikTok and it'll be just like, you know, I like this. I like sharing it on here because it's, it's easy, man. You don't feel that uh, judgment and that sense of, hey, 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 no, man. <laughs> Um, I just can't relate to Instagram anymore. I really don't. I really don't like it as much as I thought. I, as much as I used to. Let's put it that way. I really don't like it as much as I used to. So, I don't, I don't know. I feel like I keep looking at my blue light reflection when I have my glasses on. So let me take them off while I'm shooting and then I'll put them back on when I'm, when I've got the camera off. But, um, yeah, bro. Ish. There's a lot in J. There's a lot. There's a lot. And I feel like I just need to align my mind with my heart, with my uh, everything. You know, I need to align myself. Um, and I don't know if being here is doing that for me. There's, there's, there's a bunch of things that I'm going through right now that are hard and they'd be hard for anybody to be honest they'd be hard for anybody but i i think for me typically i'd be a lot stronger than i am now but because there's just so many other aspects of my life that are really really difficult it feels like december felt like that time where kind of everything had culminated and everything was bogging me down making me feel uh weak <clears throat> Mm. Hang on. Everything was kind of bogging me down, making me feel like, you know, just weak and doubtful and apprehensive and hesitant and stuff. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of emotions, there's a lot of feelings that are happening in my brain and in my head that I'm trying to put together, reconcile together, do the things together. Uh, but I don't know. 
you know what, maybe I could actually come out of this one much stronger. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could actually be like, give a little bit sharp and use this difficult time, which, which, which is something that I do a lot. I use difficult times for my advantage, to my advantage. Um, and it makes me push work. It makes me push everything. It just makes me go in so much harder. Um, because just, I don't have time for distractions, right? So I don't know, maybe that's, that could be what would happen. And that there'd, there'd be a lot more content coming. I'm just not aware if any content is coming just yet. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll see. I'm going to go, I'm going to head home in about the next hour or so. And then I'll be back a little bit later. It'll be good to get out the house. So then I'll be back a little bit later. But yeah, for the most part, guningi man. Guningi. And it's, it's sucky because I can't really explain detail. I don't want to explain detail. I don't want to. Uh, but it's sucky because sometimes you feel like, ah, oh, you guys are my friends uh, and I love you guys so much. And maybe you guys would be able to advise me and stuff. Um, but that would come at the cost of me having to spill my beans and my secrets and spill my tea, my tea, my personal tea. And that ain't it, sister. I want to have a life of fun and Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Just this hand. This hand, I'm picking it up jiggy jiggy from the bottom. Poof. Mara, what what is this? Ah man. What is this? And what do they say about when you just, you know what? What do they say? What do they say about when you what do they say about when you spill salt? Because I'm not going to consider aromatic salt in this year's situation, okay? I'm mad. <laughs> I'm so mad.